after SUNY vaulted, I knew exactly what was going through her head. I dealt with that in Tokyo, so I just knew that she needed some encouragement and somebody to trust her gymnastics. Amongst the 15 Paris Olympic hopefuls, the most notable ones are Simone Biles and Suni Lee. Both of them have been closely acquainted with pain and disappointment, and have both, thankfully, found their way back to gymnastics. This year, they aim to compete in Paris together and do their best. The past two women to capture gymnastics Olympic all-around gold, Simone Biles in 2016 and Suni Lee in 2020, are determined to be a part of Team USA going to the capital of France next month. After all, they have been through in the past couple of years. They intend to win while making sure to enjoy the process. As you all know, Biles made her return to competition last season, after a year away following the Tokyo 2020 Games, where she won Team Silver and Balance Beam Bronze after withdrawing from several finals to prioritize her mental health. To make sure not to suffer from the twisties again, she is continuously making sure to put her mental health front and center in her return. This eventually paid off, as is proven by an 8th US crown and 6th world title she earned last season, which are, mind you, both records. She continued her dominance this season, and her 2024 debut was a masterclass, as she soared, smiled, and stuck her way to a 59.500 all-around score at May's US Classic, her best all-around total since Tokyo. Suni Lee's journey to the US Championships hasn't been smooth sailing either. Since early last year, she has been dealing with a kidney-related health issue that ended her collegiate career early. As if that's not unfortunate enough, it also held her out of international competition in the second half of 2023. Her first competition this year hadn't yielded great results either. At the Winter Cup in February, she had a shaky start to the season, falling twice on the uneven bars and once on the beam. During the American Classic in late April, however, Lee was notably better, cleaner showing a Yurchenko full-on vault, scoring 13.250 and a solid beam routine that brought in the highest score of the competition of 14.300, despite opting for a simple layout dismount. Lee was able to pull that off thanks in large part to the level of difficulty in her routine, even without the dismount she's capable of. Then, in May, the 2024 Core Hydration Gymnastics Classic in Hartford, Connecticut, saw a return to the competition for Suni Lee and Gabby Douglas. This marked the first time that three former Olympic all-around gold medalists competed at the same event, according to NBC Sports. It was Biles who dominated the event after racking up an impressive all-around score of 59.500, topping the score of 59.1 she earned at last year's Classic. Biles dominated the event, which also saw a return to the competition for Suni Lee and Gabby Douglas. Lee, meanwhile, completed three events, vault, beam, and floor. The 2020 Olympic all-around champion took home the highest score on beam and finished with a 40.75 total score, qualifying her for the all-around at nationals. Today, the 21-year-old continues to pace herself as she overcomes two kidney-related illnesses that have limited her training over the past year, which may prove to be a smart strategy with the US Olympic trials happening in a week or so. Before the trials, gymnasts dreaming of being part of Team USA in Paris competed at the US Gymnastics Championships in Fort Worth, Texas, which started in late May and ended in early June. When the event came to a close, a crowded field vying for five spots on the U.S. Women's Olympic Gymnastics team had dwindled to 16. This, however, does not mean that shrinking the pool means choosing who gets a ticket to Paris will be easy. Among the groups invited to the U.S. Olympic trials are three Olympic champions, a Tokyo silver medalist, multiple world championship medalists, and a handful of newcomers who are packed with potential. But listen to this. Notable contenders like 2012 Olympic all-around champion Gabby Douglas and 2022 U.S. champion Connor McLean are no longer in the mix due to injuries. Anyhow, no American gymnast has won more all-around national championships than Simone Biles' eight, and that was before the U.S. championships. 
But then, in Fort Worth, Biles won her ninth U.S. Championship title. Biles posted a two-day all-around total of 119.750, nearly six points clear of runner-up Sky Blakely. The GOAT, proving why she is dubbed the greatest of all time, finished with the highest two-day score in all four events. It was something she'd done only once before, at the 2018 Nationals. Suni Lee, on the other hand, entered the Dickies arena with questions surrounding her health and Olympic readiness. But with the meet close, she left Texas with her name firmly in the U.S. Olympic conversation. It was not, however, without a hitch. For her, day two of the U.S. Gymnastics Championships began with disaster. With a stutter step on her run, Lee incurred a fall to score just a 12.150 on vault. Having experienced something similar a few years ago, Simone is more than a little empathetic. It may just have been a kind, generous, and sweet gesture from Biles, but it meant the world to Suni. I don't think I could have done it without her, she said. On the next rotation, Biles stayed nearby as Lee performed on the uneven bars. Lee hit her routine, tying for the highest score of the night on the apparatus. As you saw, Biles congratulated her, then scurried over to prepare for her floor exercise routine. Suni later expressed her appreciation for Simone's support. In an exclusive interview with E! News, Suni said, We always want the best for each other. We all want the same spot, but we're also all rooting for each other because we know the potential that somebody else can bring. Simone's gesture at the championships only shows that in addition to redefining gymnastics, she is also finding time to look out for her fellow U.S. gymnasts, not least as she's conscious of the importance of looking after her own mental health. After the 2024 U.S. Gymnastics Championships, the women's final standing had been determined. The top eight was ranked according to score. Simone Biles, Sky Blakely, Kayla DiCello, Suni Lee, Jordan Chillas, Hesley Rivera, Jade Carey, and Leanne Wong, respectively. Then, for the winner for each event, vault, uneven bars, balance beam, and floor exercise. Are we even surprised that it was all Simone Biles? Because, yes, Simone Biles was the winner for all apparatus. With that, the field is set. With the conclusion of the U.S. Gymnastics Championships, USA Gymnastics announced the gymnasts who will compete at the Olympic Trials later this month. Those who will win will have the honor of representing the United States at the Paris Olympics later this summer. The women gymnasts who will compete in Minneapolis, Minnesota from June 27th to June 30th at the 2024 U.S. Olympic Trials are Simone Biles, of course, Sunisa Lee, Jade Carey, Jordan Chiles, Sky Blakely, Dulce Kaler, Kayla DiCello, Shillies Jones, Kalia Lincoln, Evelyn Lowe, Zoe Molomo, Hesley Rivera, Jocelyn Robertson, Simone Rose, Tiana Sumanasekra, and Leanne Wong. Just so you know, Jones and Lincoln petitioned to be allowed to compete at the Olympic Trials. Both gymnasts scratched the national championships and those petitions were granted. While waiting for the trials, watch this to see who is set to compete in other events.